Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. In the garage today is the all new 2022 Subaru WRX. And so we're gonna take a complete tour under the hood, outlining all the major technical components, as well as the maintenance service points. The 2022 Subaru WRX comes with a larger and revised 2.4 liter turbocharged flat four boxer engine with an aluminum block and heads and a 10.6 to one compression ratio. It produces 271 horsepower at 5,600 RPM and a continuous 258 pound feet of torque from 2,000 to 5,200 RPM. It features direct fuel injection and an electronically controlled turbocharger wastegate that produces up to 12 PSI of boost. All four of its chain-driven cams feature variable timing. As tested with a six-speed manual transmission, the EPA rates it at 19 miles to the gallon city, 26 highway, and 22 miles to the gallon combined on premium fuel. Following the airflow, the intake charge starts at the front of the engine compartment at the top of the radiator and comes into the air box at the passenger side through a large plastic snorkel. From there, a tube takes it down around the frame rail and to the turbocharger mounted below the front of the engine out of sight. From there, another tube brings the boosted charge up to an air-to-air -air intercooler at the top of the engine before it makes its way to a drive-by-wire throttle body and into the two opposed cylinder banks by way of a plastic intake plenum. Most of the fuel system is out of sight and under the engine's valve covers as it has direct fuel injection. Once the combustion process is complete, exhaust exits through the manifolds at the bottom of the engine and into the turbocharger. The air-to-air -air intercooler itself is force-fed cooling air through a functional hood scoop which has a pretty substantial shroud to ensure maximum airflow and seal. As seen, note that debris can collect on the intercooler and should be checked and cleaned from time to time. Routine maintenance on the WRX engine bay is simple and accessible more than most. The brake fluid can be checked at the driver's side firewall. Note that on our non eye side equipped car, it has a traditional vacuum booster and brake cylinder in lieu of an electronic brake controller. To the right of the brake system is the main engine ECU and the main fuse box. Accessing the fuses is as simple as popping a couple clips. A fuse removal tool can be found inside. The 12 volt battery is just ahead of the main fuse block. Coming to the front driver's side, you'll find the windshield washer fluid and main coolant reservoirs notable by their bright yellow caps. The oil filler cap and the oil filter itself can be found on top of the engine at the driver's side. The oil dipstick to check your levels on the passenger side front of the engine. Other notable items under the hood are the ABS brake control unit, which for reference is found at the passenger side of the engine compartment near the firewall. With the engine's forward mounting design, you can actually get a good view of the transmission and the front drive axles easily on the passenger side. At the front of the engine is a single serpentine accessory drive belt which can be easily checked and serviced. The alternator and AC compressor units are at the top, the water pump at the bottom. Ahead of the engine, the radiator features two electric cooling fans. Watch your hands whether the car is on or off. All right, my friends, there you go. That is it. And I will point out just once again, if you have a CVT automatic with the EyeSight system, there are a few additional components under the hood that we don't have here because with the manual, it has a conventional brake system. Quite a bit different. So there you go. We have a test drive of this car. You can see right there, pretty fun car. Better yet, subscribe to our separate channel here for our garage, TDTV Garage. Either way, stay tuned.